Sir Alan said we can use the uh, GoPro on the uh, helmet, on the chin mount. So uh, we're going to get that set up now, or Wendy's going to get it set up now. Well, I'll go out and practice the try and go today, can't I? Yeah, see what I can. My factory machine. Alright guys, Hit Sonic here, and in today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys the AMR Rental Experience. The AMR Rental Experience is the only place in the country where you can come rent out a pit bike for the weekend if it's either at these stretch summer series meetings winter series meetings or at a bnb championship you can come here and basically try before you buy which is excellent because you can come here give pit biking a go decide if it's for you or if it's not and if you do like it you can even buy one of these amrs as well which are an exceptionally well priced i'll go through the pricing of what it costs to do renting and how much one of these costs to buy. I've already, I won't be talking too much about the AMR because I've already done a review on one of these before. I'll put a link to it up here. So, we got Saturday evening practice today where I'm gonna get used to the bike, also get used to straighten the wrong way round. And then we got the Straighten Summer Series Race Me Inspire to show you guys what you get for your money. Let's get into it. Oh, it's a red light flashing, that's what I think. I can work with that. Yeah, all right. Right guys, so that was my first session on the uh, AMR, the rental experience. Uh, lots to take in first session, obviously a bike I not normally ride. Uh, and racing round or riding round Stratton, uh, the way I've never been before, going the, is it anti-clockwise way? I think it's anti-clockwise. Not the right way anyway, or not the right way for Stratton anyway. So getting used to that as well, but yeah, pretty good first session. Um, Andy's now making some adjustments for me, i.e. on a different bike. Um, I was on this one first. Um, front brake on that one. Just that, that is Dan Williams' bike, so Andy's son's bike. He rides it all the time at the BMP meetings. Um, and uh, his front brake is not quite to my liking, so I'm going to one of the regular rental bikes for the next session, which has got a far better front brake on it. And um, Dan just likes a more spongier front brake, where I like a front brake that you just, you touch it and it anchors on straight away. So we're going over to that bike. 
He's now putting a 15 front gearing on for me, so a 15.39, that's what everyone runs at Stratton, or what I run at Stratton anyway, so gonna go out, see how that feels. I've got the GoPro on my helmet, Andy who runs Stratton has very kindly let me do that, so we're gonna be doing that next, and uh, yeah, see how we get on with that, and just build up, slowly get quicker for today, and uh, hopefully we'll be on pace for race day tomorrow. say with my timing head on with your timing head on from what i think okay i'm gonna say 43 seconds that weren't the quickest of the day because you just can't see where you're going if you, you can say slower i won't be happy you done a 41 three seven that's all right Right guys, so let's talk about yesterday's evening practice because what I didn't realise with my new GoPro, it doesn't format to a external microphone. So I was doing loads of talking in my helmet and actually I was just talking to myself. So yeah, but I do that on the regular. Um, right, so yesterday went really, really well, shall we say. Uh, made loads of adjustments to the bike uh, with um, gear lever settings, things like that, uh, adjusting throttle position and things like that. I went on two different AMRs yesterday, and this is to people who think they're doing the rental, who are thinking about doing the rental thing. Both bikes felt exactly the same, so whatever you bike you get from Andy here at AMR, they're, they're going to feel the same. There's none better or worse than any other, so that was a good thing to try out. Um, so I'll talk about prices in a sec, I'll get Wendy to film me when I'm standing behind all the bike and we'll talk about the prices of what it would cost you to rent an AMR here at Stretton and what it would cost you to rent it out at a, a full BMB race weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, the full blown work. So Wendy's going to do some footage today, we've got a morning warm up, a qualifying and we've got three races. So loads of track time today and as I spoke before. Uh, we are going around Stretton, or you would have seen it yesterday as well, we're going around Stretton the wrong way, which uh, still taking a little while to get my head round, but I think we're going to get there. Going to go out, enjoy it, and show you guys what you get with the full factory AMR experience.
Right guys, so the price to rent out an AMR for either a day, a race day here at Stretton or a full race weekend at B&B. So at Stretton for the single day event where you get a morning warm up, a qualifying and three races is going to cost you £225. And it's the same as it would for a B&B weekend, that is all in. So effectively all you've got to turn up is in a car with your levers, boots, helmet, gloves and you're ready to go. So that includes transponder hire, entry, fuel, use of the bike and things like that. There is a deposit you're gonna put down, but you've, if you've got as far as thinking about renting one, then you can give Andy a message and he'll give you all the smaller details on things like crash damage and deposits as well. So that's for a weekend here at Stretton. And if you wanna, if you wanna go in hard and you wanna do this properly and you wanna race at a B&B weekend, which is Saturday and Sunday, it's going to cost you an extra 100 quid and that's going to cost you 320 pound and once again that's all in transponder hire bike fuel entry fees the absolute lot you just got to turn up yourself with all your protective gear so that's really good because you haven't got to go out and spend i think it's about 1500 pound on one of these bikes you can come here test it if you love it and then you're into a cheap motorsport hobby so yeah excellent value for money and yeah, just great. And what Andy does here is amazing. What I see him do at race weekends, where especially on a wet dry weekend where he's swapping wets and slicks over and trying to keep his rental customers as happy as possible is amazing. Just seeing what he's done this morning, getting tire warmers on, doing pressures, making sure gearing's right, then yeah, it's amazing what he does and you're gonna get your money's worth. All that Andy asks is that you can ride a bike. As long as you can change gears and ride a bike, I can't say that word, competently. Do you know what word I'm thinking yeah. though? I can't say that word. If you, As long as you can ride a bike by changing gears, going up and down the road and things like competent. that. Yeah, as competent. Yeah. As long as you're competent in riding a bike. Right, we'll start again. As long as you're competent on riding, <laughs> stop laughing. Competent. Competent. As long as you're, <laughs> as long as you're competent of riding a bike, oh, I can't say a word. What's another word for that? As long as you can ride a bike, go up and down the gears and brake. There's no ability that he won't accept. So you could come from track days, road riding, off-road riding. Um, so you can come give it a go and see if you enjoy supermoto pit biking. Right, it's race day here. Let's get ready for warm-up. guys so that's morning warm-up and qualifying done we're fourth in both uh, I think we did a 40.8 in warm-up and then we did a 39.8 in qualifying and Wendy and Andy were both saying to me oh 39s and I was like oh, that'd be a bit ambitious but we did it so we're still knocking loads of time off every session we go out getting a lot of chatter when um, I'm going over the slow bumpy bits of the final part of the track so we've uh, just made a few suspension um, adjustments uh, it's gonna, the front two are going to clear off um, so it's going to be a battle between me and a lad called Rob for third place I reckon but um, we'll see how we go it'd be really nice to get a podium this weekend on the AMR but we'll see we're here for the enjoyment to show you guys what the AMR experience is like
race, so that was race one done. Um, comfortable, not a comfortable fourth place by any stretch of the imagination. Ashley kept me honest all race. Um, we went one tenth quicker. I'm just having so many, so many moments on the front at the moment through the slower stuff. Um, so, sounds a bit weird, but we've changed the gear and we've gone through a 39 rear to a 41. Hopefully, so that makes the bike higher in the revs, so it's going to not be... I think I'm trying to carry too much corner speed through the tight stuff, and that's what's making me lose the front, because I'm trying to keep the revs up. So, if we go to a 41, hopefully the revs will be higher. I keep a tighter line, and uh, I'm not going to keep losing the front. So, fingers crossed, that's going to do. So, yeah, we are well off the top three, well off the top three. They just fucked off on the first few laps so yeah hopefully hopefully this gearing's going to make a massive change but really enjoying being a AMR factory rider um, for the weekend and getting the higher bike experience literally Andy does everything for you all I've done told him what I think needs improving on the bike he's done it for me he takes the tyre warmers off for me um, all I have to do is get on and ride it I mean full factory I feel like uh, Peko Bagnaya today but yeah Go go out, enjoy the last two races. There's a bit of rain in the air now, so uh, we might have some tricky conditions. I reckon definitely in the last race, but um, I reckon this second race is probably going to be dry. Speak to you guys after the next race. Yeah. Right, ready, Andy? Ready. Got no confident in the front. The front uh, was very yeah, hard. it's just too hard. You need to, it's, it's just bouncing up and down. Corner, at both corners, I was watching the others. They they were um, braking um, slower than you to carry more corner speed. But the front of your bike was just... yeah. Right, so that's race two done. Um, went a bit backwards in that one. I don't know if it was due to the gearing change we made, um, or we're just still getting loads of chatter problems. Um, but that's the way it is. I'm, I'm getting on a bike that I've never really ridden before, so you can't expect it to be set up spot on straight away. So we did get up to third place for a while. You would have seen someone uh, crashed in front of me. Uh, we got up to third, but the chatter problems, I was just, sometimes I was having to run wide to stop it from doing it and things like that. So um, eventually we dropped down to fifth place, well off the pace, well off the pace. So, but like I said, it's a bike I've never ridden before. It's the first time I've been to this track in this direction, so I knew it was going to be difficult and I can now feel the rain hitting, so we uh, we might have a bit of a uh, wet race in this second one, but we'll see. 
Speak to you later, guys. So as you can see, guys, the rain has arrived. So this final race we're about to do is going to be wet. And if any of you ever ridden Stretton in the wet, it is like an ice rink. So plan for this race is to make it to the end without crashing. I don't care how slow I go, we're just going to get it to the end without crashing. And I think if you do that, you'll get a half decent result. So we'll see how it goes. Me and the young lad who's uh, renting the bike for his first time, um, we're going to be sharing bikes. So as soon as he comes in from his junior race, swap the transponders over and I'll hop on that one. So um, yeah, we're ready to go for this last race of the day. Fingers crossed, uh, try and get a half decent result in the wet, but we'll see. Ashley had a big crash, that'd be brilliant on the GoPro footage. Like, you know when the lift's closing on you? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> so you, you was point, point three off the quickest lap. Was I? Yeah. We weren't far off the young lad, were we? Once we got going, the gap stayed the same. You were yeah. closing on him towards the end. I, mean, look, I, think I just get more and more confident. I wish I was that confident at the start, but we have a bike never ridden in the wet. <laughs> Way, third place, yeah. woo! Hey, Ma. Woo! <laughs> right guys so that was a weekend's racing for amr at the stretton summer series uh good two days uh challenging two days when it comes to riding the bike but absolutely thoroughly enjoyed riding for andy and sandra at amr Th them two I can't put into words what them to do. It is unbelievable for the money they charge you guys to rent a pit bike out. And what you get for that money is unbelievable. You literally, I I didn't have to lift a finger. I kept offering to Andy, oh, can I do this? Can I do that? And he was like, nope, nope, I'll do it. I'll do it. He will look after you so well. Um, and especially if you're new to the sport, um, and you've got not a clue on what you're doing. Obviously, you know how to ride a bike, but you've never raced pit bikes before. He's so helpful, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna walk away knowing that you've you've got your money's worth, and you've had a f fantastic time. So if you've if you've got that little thing in your mind, oh, I want to go race bikes, I want to give it a go. Go do this. Go rent a bike off AMR uh, and go give it a go because you're missing out if you if you've got that little thing in your head saying i want to go racing um 
you've got a chance to go rent a bike out. You haven't even got to buy one and you can see if you enjoy it and love it. Going to my personal weekend, this weekend ride for AMR, I knew it was going to be tough. Um, riding a bike that I'd never really ridden before. Like I said, I've done the odd test session for AMR before, um, but I've never really rode it in anger like it at a race weekend. And Stretton definitely isn't the the track to go do it first time. Um, I knew it was going to be tough, but we got a podium in that last race. So even though it was a bit of a lucky one because a few of the riders didn't go out in the last wet race. And obviously we saw Ashley Spanner himself on the last lap in that video. Um, it was it was good. Um, like I said, struggling with the front end a bit, but you're not you're not you can't expect to be going race winning pace for a bike that you've literally just jumped on um, that weekend. So I I definitely know that bike with some time on it and to make the adjustments that I like to have on a pit bike that I could be um, running up the front on an AMR. I really think I can. And I know I can because it's it's exactly the same frame and chassis as my M2R CRF70. So I know I could go quick on it, but I was jumping on a bike that I'd never ridden before. And at the end of the day, if you guys are going to rent the bike, you're going there to see if you enjoy riding um pit bikes and maybe if you do enjoy riding the AMR maybe buying one as well because at the end of the day these bikes are great value for money I'll put a link to the AMR website down there sorry in the description below so you can go check it out get hold of Andy if you're interested in renting an AMR for either the Stretton Summer Series or whether you want to go rent it for a BNB round so yeah guys go check it out if you've got any slight interest in doing it go check it out apart from that guys really enjoyable weekend thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it the thumbs up and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button massive thank you to all my patrons i know one of my patrons rory who won the rookies championship this year is renting an amr at the final round um at bnb uh, at red lodge and i will also be there myself back on the CW to race in, I think it's my fourth different championship uh, this season. Um, and we're also doing the last round at Cadwell for Nora Sports. So that means we were ridden in five different championships this season. So it's been a packed one. Right, guys, speak to you soon. I'll see you for the next vlog. That will be telling you guys what went wrong with my engine at Ella Park. See you all later. Bye-bye.